Hello and welcome to Scottish Ballet's yoga practice. My name is Constance and I'm a principal dancer with the company. Please have a yoga mat ready and some water. And make sure you have inner space to reach your arms and legs around you without touching anything. And please take this class at your own pace. Do not do anything that doesn't feel right in your body. And you can press pose at any time if you need to take a break. Today's practice will focus on opening our hips and stretching all surrounding muscles like your hamstrings, your glutes and your psoas. Let's get on the mat. So find a lying down position. Bend your knees and place the soles of your feet on your mat. Try and make sure that your feet and knees are hips distance apart. And just start to focus inward into your breath. Tuck your chin just so slightly towards that chest. So you have the long spine all the way from your top vertebra all the way down to your sacrum sitting bones. And then you can place one arm on your belly and the other onto your diaphragm. Close your eyes if you wish and start to focus inwards into your own breath. As you do this, try and inhale through your nose and exhale through your nose all the way through the class. Feel the belly expand away from you as you inhale and feel your belly being drawn back towards your spine as you exhale. And just do this for a couple more times at your own speed. Just letting the body adjust, focusing the mind into the breath. Good. One more breath like this. And then we're going to do a little breathing exercise, pranayama, just to get ourselves even more into this neutral and soft feeling. So we're going to do some counting. We're going to inhale for three. We'll hold the breath at the top and then we'll exhale through the nose for three and hold. Okay, so let's take a big inhale to prepare through the nose and exhale through the nose. And let's go inhale for one, two, three. Hold the breath, exhale through the nose, three, two, one, hold. Again, inhale, three, two, one, hold. Exhale everything out, one, two, three. Hold the breath. Last time, inhaling through the nose, one, two. Feel the belly expand, hold. Exhale, three, two, one. Hold the breath and come back to full inhale. And this time, exhaling out the mouth to let go. Good. Let's bring our knees into our chest and we'll start to warm up into our hips. I'm going to bring the knees out to the side as you exhale all the way down and then as you inhale bring them back onto the chest twice more. Knees out, away and towards. Last one. Use the breath. Try and keep the lower back onto the mat as you bring the knees away and back forward. And let's reverse that. Inhale as you push them away Exhale as they open and bring them back to the chest. Push the knees away. Keep the spine long as much as you can. Last one. The ribcage stays in, shoulders relax and bring the knees back. Good. Let's bring our hand directly underneath our knees and let's start to rock back and forward. And as you've got enough momentum onto your spine, just come up to a seated position. Good. Let's bring our legs around to the back of your mat. Bring your knees directly underneath your hips, hips width apart. Rest directly underneath your shoulders and your wrists are gonna be shoulder width apart. Long spine, long neck. Inhaling, let's do some cow-cow, bringing the chest through your shoulders. Just only look to where your neck allows. And exhale, find the curve. Push the floor away from your hands, your shins and top of your feet. Inhale, bring the heart, bring the heart through your shoulders. Let that heart melt through shoulders away from the ears. 
exhale, push the flow away, curve, curve, curve that body. Look at your belly button one more time. Keep the hips where they are above the knees, try not to move them forward and back. And exhale for three, two, one. Inhale, coming back to neutral spine. Good. Extend your legs behind you. Find a beautiful plank position. Full breath into plank. Elbow soft. Exhaling, let's come down onto our forearms. Forearm plank. Bring your knees onto the mat if you need to. Shoulders away from the ears. And on your next exhale, bring your knees down and lower your belly all the way down. But keep the chest lifting up. Keep your elbows directly underneath your shoulders. Squeeze the elbows in so you can bring the chest forward. And then relax your legs, relax your buttocks and just find flexibility into lower spine in Sphinx pose. Full breath here and then you can stay here if this is enough. Otherwise slide your wrist underneath your shoulders, point your feet, engage your legs and lift your chest as much as you can into your cobra. Belly button stays down on the mat. Exhale, bring the head down and push yourself back through tabletop. Flex your toes into your downward facing dog. You can walk your dog if that feels right, bending one knee at a time. You can stay still. Just find that length into the back of your legs, into your spine, sitting bones towards the sky. Inhale, look towards your hands and then gently walk your feet forward. Feet hips distance apart, bend the knees as much as you need to, to find your hands onto the mat. Let's take a big inhale, bring our hands onto the shin, find a long neutral flat back. Exhale, bend the knees as much as you need to, hands onto the mat. Inhaling, let's come halfway up again, long spine, reach the crown of the head forward. Exhale, down, one last one. Inhaling through your nose, long, long spine, belly's engaged. Exhale, down. And this time, let's take a full inhale and come all the way to mountain pose. Reach your hands up towards the ceiling. Exhale, your hands at your heart center. Good. Let's bring all of these postures together into a sun salutation. So walk towards the front of your mat. Bring your feet together. Ground yourself. All the muscles are engaged and at the same time you're growing, getting taller. Here we go. Inhaling the arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, let's come halfway up, halfway up, long spine. Exhale, down. Bring your right leg behind, then your left plank. Bring the knees onto the mat if you need to, lower all the way down. Hands underneath your shoulders, legs engaged, belly engaged. Inhale for cobra, lift the chest. Exhale, come down, bend the knees, find yourself back into your downward facing dog. Soft elbows. Look towards your hands, walk your feet, or this time step your left leg in, then the right. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, back down. Inhale, come all the way up. Reach your fingers towards the ceiling. Exhale, hands to your heart center. One more time and we'll stop in a downward dog. Inhaling the arms up, get tall. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, come halfway up. Exhale, back down. This time the left leg goes out, then the right long plank. Lower yourself as you exhale, knees down if you need to. Inhale for cobra or upward dog if you know it. Exhale, push back. Downward facing dog, let's stay here. Full breath in your downward dog, reach your sitting bones towards the ceiling. So we're going to inhale the right leg up and then bend the right knee. And just notice how that right hip is filling. Stretch the right leg and flex that foot and then bring the right knee in towards the chest. Place the right foot in between your hands. And then drop that left knee down, relax the left foot. If you need, you can fold your mat so you have a little bit more cushioning under that left knee. And then start to come up into your low lunge, hands onto your hips. 
zip the front of the belly, check your alignment right near above right ankle. And this is nice and long into that left hip. Let's bring the hands other side of the right foot again. And we're going to rock back to our half split, stretching that front leg. Inhaling, coming back forward into the low lunge, chest lifts up. Exhale, rock back, half split, flexing the right leg, right foot if that feels right. Inhaling one last time, coming forward, lifting the chest. And then exhale back to the half split. Let's stay here for full breath. And then maybe grabbing onto that right foot with the left hand, falling forward as much as it feels comfortable. And then inhale, release that grip, coming back to the front. Stretch the left leg behind, lift the left kneecap off your mat. Bring power and balance into your legs. And then when you're ready, inhale your hands onto your hips. Long high lunge, reach the left heel behind you. Place that right hand onto your thigh. Inhale the left arm up, reach those left fingertip up before you go a little bit back as you exhale and then a little bit towards the right side. So you feel that nice stretch into your left hip flexor, psoas. Good, inhaling, let's come back to the center. Reach the right arm up, high crescent lunge, and then pivot to your left foot so you find yourself in your warrior two. That left heel is down as your left toes are facing the left front corner of your mat. Right knee above right ankle, right heel in line with the middle part of your back foot. Long stance through your arms, reaching your fingertips either side. Inhaling, stretching the front leg, look up. Exhale, bend the front knee. Power into those legs. Inhale, reach, reach, get taller. Exhale down. Inhale one last time. And then stay here, bring that right foot parallel to the left. Bring your hands onto your hips. Inhale, reach the chest up. And exhale, fall forward into your wide leg forward bend. And then when you're down there, you can bring your hands directly underneath your shoulders. And just let the weight of your head and gravity gently pull you down. If it's really easy for the um, crown of the head to be onto your mat, you can close your stance a little. And same thing in the other way. If you need to open it, you can too as well. Take a full breath, shoulders away from the ears, getting taller, reaching, lengthening the entire spine. Sorry. Good, inhaling, let's bring our hands onto our hips and then we'll come back up to standing. Good. Let's turn back to the front of the mat, finding the high lunge one more time. And from here, just bring your left leg in a little bit and bring that left heel down again. And then left toes facing the front corner of your mat. Right heel in line with your left. Inhale, reach those arms up and exhale, fold forward and grab what you can grab on. Maybe it's a chin, maybe it's an ankle, maybe it's the mat. And find yourself in your pyramid pose. Taking a full deep breath here. You can bring the hand behind you, uh, lower back, just to check the alignment of your hip. Make sure you're nice and straight. And then maybe we bring the weight a little bit forward onto the front leg to really stretch the armstrings. Good. One last breath. And then bend that front leg. Come back into your lunge. Bring the right foot next to the left plank. You can come straight away into your downward dog or let's do an optional vinyasa. Lowering all the way down, forehead on the mat. Engaging the legs, lifting the chest for your cobra. Exhale, push back. Downward facing dog. Left side, inhaling the left leg. Bending the left knee, finding that filling into the opening of that left hip. Reaching the left leg up again and bringing the left knee in. Bring the left foot in between your hands. Drop the right knee. Fold your mat if you need to again. And then come up to your low lunge. Zipping the front of the belly. Lifting up at the shoulder stays down. Good. Let's bring the hands back down either side of the front foot. Exhale, rock back to your half split. 
Use the breath, inhaling, rocking forward. Maybe using that three count breath we did at the beginning just to rebalance you. Inhaling, last time, rocking forward. Exhale, rocking back, half split, keep the hips as square as you can. Maybe grabbing that left foot with the right hand. Maybe coming a little lower with the exhale. Release and come back forward again. Flex your right foot, stretch the right leg. When you have power and balance into your legs, come up, hands onto your hips. Long lunge, reach the right heel behind you. Left hand onto your left thigh, inhaling the right arm up. Reach the right fingertips up before you go a little bit back and then a tiny bit towards the left side, feeling that nice stretch into your right psoas. Inhaling, coming back up, high crescent lunge, zipping the front of the belly. And then I'm going to turn this way so you can stay me, but stay where you are. Find yourself into your warrior two on the other side. Left heel in line with the middle part of your back foot. Right toes facing the front corner of your mat. Inhaling, stretching the arms, stretching the legs. Exhale down. Inhaling, coming up. Exhale down, last one. Inhale, reach, make it the longest one yet. And then turn the left foot parallel to the right. Check you on the right um, nice line. Then bring your hands onto your hips. Inhaling the chest up. Exhale, fold forward, wide leg forward bend. Bring your hands down directly underneath your shoulders. And then reach the crown of the head down. Just use the exhale part of your breath to do this. Do not force the stretch. Shoulders away from your ears, elbows in. Reach the crown one last time. And inhale, hands back onto your hips, coming back up. Turning back into your high lunge. Stay where you are, let me rotate back to the front. And then we're gonna bring that right heel down, stretch the front leg. Inhale, reach and exhale, fold forward. Hands either side of that left foot if you can, onto your ankle, onto your shin, whatever you can grab hold of is right. And fold forward. As far as you can, as comfortable as it feels. There's no wrong in this. Place the hand behind you just to check the alignment of to your hips. And just relax down. Use the exhale part of your breath to find a stretch, to find the edge. All right, let's come back a little bit forward and then reach that left foot back into your plank. Optional vinyasa. Maybe upward dog if you know it. Maybe back to your cobra, your back bend of choice. And push back. Down with face in dark. And let's bend our knees, bring the toes together, sit back onto your heels. Nice child pose, well deserved child pose are the rest. Last breath in your child pose. And on your next inhale, let's come back through tabletop into your down with face in dark. Inhale, bring the right leg up, flex the right heel and bring the right knee in between your hands, right foot in between your hands and again drop that left knee, relax the left toes. Find yourself into your low lunge, folding your mat if you need to. And then maybe we're going to bring the right arm inside of the right foot and then opening those right toes out to the right corner of your mat. Take a full breath here, just letting your body adjust to this new posture. And then if it feels comfortable, maybe we're going to come down onto our elbows. Still bringing the shoulders away from the ears, pushing yourself away from your mat so we're not collapsing down. Breathe into your hip, breathe and exhale all the tension away. And if it's comfortable for you, 
we're going to find ourselves into a pigeon pose. So you can stay here or if you want, start to slide the left foot across to the left side of your mat and then the right knee will come down and find yourself into a nice pigeon pose. If this is a bit too much, know that you can bend the left knee behind you at a 90 degree angle and come to your deer pose. If you're right into your pigeon pose, then start to find length again to the front and the back of your body. And then exhale, start to fold forward into your pigeon pose. Just go as far as it feels comfortable and find your breath. Any sharp pain in your right knee, flex the right foot. Just breathe, shoulders away from the ears. We're going to stay here for a few breaths. And this is a really deep hip opening posture, so take your time with it. Hip opening postures are really good for dancers because it um, will improve your turnout, but it's also good for everybody, especially if you're a runner or a cyclist, because it just opens your hips a little more, stretch your hamstring at the same time with like pyramid pose that we've just done, and this helps you to not get any uh, lower back pain. Find your breath. With each exhale, release any tension in your glutes, maybe in your hips. And we're going to take one last breath in this. And to come out of it, just place your hands directly underneath your shoulders. Start to bring the weight forward onto your arms, flex the left leg, and then bring the right leg back up. Stay into this three legged dog. Bend the right knee again and feel that different sensation from when we did this at the beginning of the practice. And then just notice how it feels, stretch the right leg and bring it back down. Let's do the left side. Inhaling the left leg up. Bending the left knee, bringing the left foot in between your hands. Releasing the right knee down, folding your mat if you need to. Find yourself into your lunge. Staying here or maybe bringing the left down inside of the left foot, rotating those left toes towards the front corner of your mat. And then maybe coming down onto the elbows, if that feels right. And make sure that wherever you are, you're still keeping a sense of that knee coming in towards that shoulder, so it's not too far out. Couple of breaths here, just to let the body adjust. Making sure we're not too far to the left side, we're still nice and centered into that right leg. And then maybe staying here, or maybe coming back up to find your pigeon pose onto the other side, sliding the foot across, dropping your hips down, lengthening the back leg. Deer pose is available if you need to. And then once you find that long spine, just exhale the upper body down into your full pigeon pose. Again, flexing that left foot if you find any sharp pain into that left knee. Full breaths. And our hips are also the center of our emotions. So sometimes after deep opening postures, you might find you might find yourself later on in the day a little feel you'll feel maybe a little emotional and that's okay just so you know this is what caused it okay so don't panic you might feel absolutely fine but if you do feel a little bit emotional then just be aware of it just come back to your breath no tension anywhere Last two breaths in this. Really let go. Feel your body melting into the earth. And let's come back up, hands underneath our shoulders. Weight forward onto the hands, flexing the right leg, lifting the left leg back up. And then one more time, bend that left knee. Relax the left foot and just see how that hips is feeling. Maybe it's a little tired and that's okay because we've done a lot of work, but maybe it's slightly more open. 
and just stretch it out and place it back down. Find yourself in your last downward facing dog. Reach the tailbone as much as you can. And then bend your knees onto the mat. Sit onto your heels and to the right side and bring your legs forward to the front of your mat. Stretch your legs in front of you, flex your feet, keep your ankle bones together. Nice and long through the front and to the back, especially into that lower back. Inhale, your arms up, reach the sides of your body. Exhale, fold forward and grab all of what you can get. Maybe it's a shin, maybe it's your ankles, maybe it's a wrist outside your feet. And just fold forward to your own degree, reaching the crown of the head towards the toes with each inhale. And with each exhale, finding all length into your spine, release into your lower back. As you inhale, feel your belly rise onto your thighs. And this posture is really good for any lower back pain as it relieves any um, tension into your lower back, but also for any feelings of anxiety or stress. Stay here for a couple more breaths. Growing with each inhale, grounding with each exhale. Then when you're ready, bring your hands underneath your shoulders. Use them to push yourself back up as you inhale. Bend your knees, soles of the feet onto your mat. Hands underneath your knees and gently use them as a counterbalance to roll your spine down and bring your knees onto your chest. Squeeze your knees into the chest. And I'm gonna give you two options for this next twist. So for a more gentle option, you're gonna bring both knees to the left side of your body. And if you want to go a little deeper, just keep the right knee into that chest, lower that left leg down. And with your left hand, bring the right knee across. And wherever you are, your arms are going to be along the floor, shoulder height, palms facing up. And you can look up or bring the twist into that neck, looking to the right hand. Breathe in and out. Breathe into the right side of the ribcage, lengthening that right side of the body from the right hip all the way into the right shoulder. And then inhale, let's come back to the center. If you had one knee up, bring the left knee to meet the right. And then let's do that onto the other side. So both knees to the right, or lowering the right, knee, right leg down, and then bringing the left across. And again, your arms are gonna be nice and relaxed onto the floor, shoulder height, Palms up, looking up or towards the left hand. Back to the breath. No tension in that knee, no tension in that left foot or right foot. Try and exhale that shoulder down. Coming back to that breath anytime your mind is wandering out, just bring the mind back into the breathing, maybe counting your breath. And then inhale, bring the knee back across, bring the other knee next to the left. Give yourself a nice slight squeeze, maybe holding onto your elbows, forehead towards your knees. And then exhale completely down onto your mat, find your Shavasana. You can let your legs open out and bring your arms alongside your body as open as you want them to be, palms up, feet relaxed, chin slightly tucked in towards the chest so your spine is long. Close your eyes. We're going to stay here for a couple of minutes.
good. Start to bring the awareness back into your room. Bringing movement into your toes, into your fingers. Maybe moving your neck gently from one side to the other. Keeping your eyes closed. Start to bring the movement a little bit bigger into your extremities. And maybe bringing your arms up, taking a big stretch. And when you're ready, inhale your knees in towards your chest. Keep your eyes nice and closed. And then with your next exhale, drop onto the right or left side of the body into a little bowl. And stay here, just let your body adjust to this new posture. Keep your eyes closed. And when you're ready, place your hands down onto the mat or onto the floor and push yourself back up to come to a seated position onto your mat. Easy cross leg, whichever leg you want in front. Place your hands onto your knees, palms down to keep the energy, palms up to receive the energy. And just notice how you feel. Notice your breath. Notice your length into your spine. And on your next inhale, open your eyes. Bring your arms out all the way up into prayer. And exhale your hands at your heart center. Namaste. Thank you so much for practicing with us. I hope you've enjoyed today's practice. And if you have, please make sure to subscribe to Scottish Ballet's YouTube channel. And you can also join the free membership program onto the website via the link below. Keep up the good work and make sure you hydrate well and eat well throughout your day so your body can restore and recover. Namaste.